Well, Richmond leaders say they're still trying to find housing solutions for people who had nowhere left to go when the city closed its weather shelters last month. Some council members continue to express frustration about slow Boom. progress, but the city administration says it's grateful for the work done so far. But I want to say again, we thank all of our city. Richmond's housing director, Cheryl Hampton, applauds no. the city's work <laughs> providing homelessness services this past season. They allotted $4.5 million for community partners to operate four weather shelters from November through April, although they opened up late and one never opened at all. To be out every day on the front line, to hear some of the stories to meet and talk with some of these people is difficult work. Thursday afternoon, Hampton gave an update to a city council committee about the services that were offered to homeless families after the shelters closed on April 15th. Hampton says that it's still under review whether partners entered all of its residents into the database that would connect them to a year-round shelter. However, she says all families did receive case management. Hampton adds that one of its shelters continued to help eight families after April 15th and was able to find four of them a housing solution. However, Councilwoman Stephanie Lynch says she's aware of at least 28 families, including 62 children, who are out on the streets and have not received placement from the city or its regional partners. They're in plain visible sight. That is not what we appropriated this funding for. We, we, we hoped, I think it was all of the express wishes of council to ensure that there is at least some sheltering capacity for our children and families after the, this arbitrary April, April 15th deadline. Council members say their request to the city administration is to temporarily house people as they continue the work to find them next steps. First, I want to make sure that they're sheltered and then they serviced and get on a path to housing and all like that. Earlier this week, advocates demanded that the city reopen its weather shelters after a homeless woman died on the streets. But Hampton says someone higher up in the administration would have to make that decision. I cannot make the determination to say whether we open a shelter back up or not. And Hampton says that a comprehensive review of the funds spent and services provided by the shelters this past season will be complete in June. Counselors say that report will provide more answers as to whether the shelters delivered on their promises. Here in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.